Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Renee DeFord. Even as summer begins to transition to fall, work zone safety continues to be a top priority, not only for ODOT, but for our partners at the Ohio State Highway Patrol. This summer, the patrol has stepped up enforcement in work zones, and it's working. Here are the latest numbers from this ongoing effort to make Ohio's work zones safer. ODA, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, and Lessett promoted work zone safety during an event in Wayne County. One of the speakers, Dana King, talked about the crash that claimed the life of her son, Alex, as he was working on a construction project back on June 7, 2021. Now, all I can ask of you is that you please slow down, pay attention, put your phone down, and realize that these accidents happen in a split second. One small distraction can cause a lifetime of devastation. You never think it can happen to you until it happens to you. The most common factor in work zone crashes continues to be following too closely and speed. We had another ODOT crew struck last week, a mowing crew working in Fairfield County. A motorist tried to pass the mowing crew on a double yellow line when they drove in between the mower and shadow vehicle and were hit. Fortunately, the damage to equipment was very minor and there were no injuries. We had two other crews struck this week, both on Wednesday. One was a traffic flagging machine that was hit on US 50 in Benton County. The driver then fled the scene. Then on I-75 in Shelby County, a crew was struck by a semi-truck after the driver said he fell asleep. The ODOT crew was checked out at the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. This puts us at 57 crews hit, topping last year's figure of 56. Again, move over, slow down, and pay attention. All right, we need your help. Last week, we told you how the I-70-71 downtown ramp-up project won an award at the MASTO conference. Well, this week, we found out that it advanced the America's Transportation Awards. We need you to vote for it. To do that, you can find a link in the description of this video or just scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. The winning state gets $10,000 to donate to charity. You can vote once per day per device. We're using technology to make our roadways more stable against the forces of nature. Our Office of Geotechnical Engineering is using updated drilling technology to more accurately gather data on the type of soil around Ohio, as well as the behavior of those various soils. So here, this is a CPT, a cone penetration test piece of equipment. This is used to gather soil strength data for roadways and to help design better roads and mitigate geohazards. So versus a traditional drill rig, this is less invasive. It's less destructive to the environment. When we're processing a test through here, the piece of equipment will push a cone of steel down into the ground, and it's both able to measure how much resistance is on the tip of the cone, and as it proceeds through the soil, it also measures the friction along the sides. And the difference between both of those is a ratio that you're able to estimate how the soil behaves, and so we can estimate a composition based on that without having to take a sample and get a lab test of it. This machine allows you to get a really accurate representation and really good resolution of different areas that might be missed by traditional methods. And so that can save us time and get a really good accurate profile of what part of the soil needs attention to be fixed. This technology, as opposed to a traditional drill rig, is more efficient, more accurate, less intrusive, faster, and more cost effective. Well, a few weeks ago, we told you about an ODOT effort to collect used books for the communities that we serve. Well, check out this unique way to get about 6,000 books to a local book bank in Northeast Ohio. This is an example of ODOT working to make our communities better. Young children under the age of five can sign up for free books to the governor's Dolly Parton Imagination Library. You can get more news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media and keep sending those great story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.